the things they said about crystals, I mean, is that both of them said that it was like they're inter interdimensional bridges into um, different densities, you know, and they exactly. are, um, yeah, they're talking about tetrahedral fractal geometry, um, and they're like a natural bridge between our reality and parallel realities, different densities. Or between, en between energy and matter, basically, yeah. Between energy and matter. And so if you think about that, you know, our bodies, like on our, on our pineal gland, it has a crystalline structure to it. Um, water has a crystalline structure. We're mostly composed of water. Our bones have a crystalline structure in them. We're designed to communicate much more than just with our five senses. Um, exactly. But it's something that we rarely tap into. Um, but we are certainly capable of that. And, and I think a lot of this kind of out there science is really discovering our capabilities as humans and, and tapping into that. And, and as it's being presented for the first time, or it's been presented for thousands of years, but when a religious perspective or a more spiritual aspect to it, that you know, not everyone feels that relates to science or is in that dogma of science. So it's kind of um, you know, overlooked. But now that it's coming to the forefront more and more, I, I think you know, that, that's what we're discovering. We're discovering what we're capable of. You know? Exactly. Our true human potential, unlocking the, the key is consciousness and uh, our perceptions create uh, reality, create our reality. That was something actually David Icke really said a lot of in a, in a lot of his videos. So, and I think, so what, what's the other thing they said? They said uh, like a couple, a couple phrases, they, um, the core holographic structure of quartz crystal is the purest material in the universe. So that structure itself is kind of, it's in a way to look at that. We were talking about tetrahedral fractal geometry. And so those types of ideas, though it, it was also saying that that is one of the main frequency keys to build worlds and life forms. It is the secret of, to the universe. And that's why it's in so many ancient cultures. This is a, um, you know, a te tetrahedron, inverse tetrahedron. Um, it is the basis of the um, Metatron's cube and the flower of life, the, 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 the seed Merkava. of life. That, yeah. The Merkava, it, it's, it's everywhere. In, in all ancient cultures, it is the sacred geometry that, you know, is, is common to all these different places all over the world. Um, so, I mean... Uh, is that a coincidence or is i think there's probably something to that right yeah yeah exactly and so on the science on a scientific basis of how they could actually prove this stuff with crystals so think of it as think of uh geometric shapes as the and our thoughts creating these geometric patterns that is like that is like the music of the universe that is like you know that's like tones and we hear music well same with our thoughts and the shapes that are created through that, those thoughts. Um, it kind of ties into almost like thinking of like the, the Dr. Emoto and what he does with water. And you think of something like love, very pure love, something of high vibration. And it's such a beautiful shape that appears that is formed. But if you think of uh, hatred and, and, and um, you know, dark, dark things and trying to wanting to kill and destruct, destroy evil, things like that, it, it becomes a very, very uh, dis displeasant and unpleasant and nasty looking looking shape and crystal crystallized form. And again, I always say positive affirmations to my water every day. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can joke about that, but it's true, and that's why, like, people, a lot of people, you know, they they say a blessing before they eat their food. I mean, they're they're grateful for what they're eating and putting into their bodies. I mean, that's yeah. a crucial part to to how to how we manifest and physically create. Um, our own health and our own well-being and our reality around us. You know, Absolutely. That ties yeah. 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 And those crystals, I mean, they, they hold energy, like, and they're, they're like the, like the perfect natural um, form from the, the, that sacred geometry shape at a subatomic level. And I guess um, mm -hmm. our, our necklaces are actually arc crystals. And these were um, produced by Dr. Uh, Nassim Harriman, who's a, who's a physicist. And, um, what he did is he, these are quartz crystals that he, he charged with the machine that he invented um, that puts into the crystals the resonant frequency and energy of the earth. And they hold that pretty much forever. That it never dissipates from the crystal. And it's, it's, it's a way of grounding, a way of recharging, a way of putting that energy, um, you know, we have it close to our body. It, it, you know, it charges the water within our bodies, you know, that make up, makes up our bodies, our blood, everything that we have. So it's, it's all exactly. about... Gee.